Google VO3 Image to Video Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to turn your still images into stunning, cinematic videos with the power of AI, then you're going to love this tutorial. Today, we'll be exploring Google VO3, the latest cutting-edge tool from Google DeepMind that uses advanced realism to breathe life into your photos. With VO3, you're not just creating simple animations, you're generating highly detailed and visually impressive videos that can include motion, audio, and even dramatic scene expansion. Whether you want to animate a single image or tell an entire story across multiple scenes, VO3 is designed to handle it all with incredible realism. One of the standout features of VO3 is that it doesn't just animate images. It also has the ability to add background sound and ambient audio, enhancing the overall storytelling experience. You can easily build short video clips that look professionally made, straight from a few basic photos. And the most exciting part? Veo trees can also expand scenes. That means if you upload a single photo of a landscape or a person, Veo3 can automatically extend that image into a wider, immersive setting, allowing you to create an entire sequence or narrative from just one visual. So, in this beginner-friendly tutorial, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to get started using Google VO3 to create your first image-to-video transformation. Let's dive in and get started. First, you need to head over to the Google DeepMind VO platform. You can search for Google VO DeepMind on your browser, and it should take you to their official website. Once you're there, you'll see two options. Try with Flow or try with Gemini. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Flow interface as it's user-friendly and perfect for beginners. Click on Try and Flow, and then choose Create with Flow. At this point, you'll see a few sample videos that demonstrate what VO3 is capable of. Before moving forward, make sure you're signed into your Google account, as that's required to access the tool. Now go ahead and click on Get Started. This will take you into the VO interface, where we can begin uploading our images and creating our video. Now that we've successfully logged in and reached the main interface, you'll find yourself on the VO home screen. This is where all the magic begins. Right here, you can see an example of a previously generated image to video clip created using Google VO3. Let me show you what that looks like. I'll go ahead and click on the video preview to demonstrate. As you can see, the original input was just a very simple static product photo. Nothing too fancy. What I asked VO3 to do was to animate the scene. I requested the model to subtly move her hand and then zoom out for a more cinematic effect. And the result? Honestly, it's stunning. The output is highly realistic. The movement is smooth, the transitions are seamless, and it genuinely looks like a professional video shoot. What impressed me the most is how lifelike the final product feels. I've seen this model and this particular palette in real life and Veo's generated video captures every detail with unbelievable precision. Veo Trez has definitely exceeded my expectations when it comes to creating hyper-realistic visuals, and that's exactly why it's quickly becoming one of the most exciting AI tools available right now. So let's now start creating a new video from scratch. To begin, we'll go back into the Flow workspace by clicking on New Project. This will open a fresh canvas for us to work with. On the new project screen, you'll notice it's a completely blank layout, ready for you to build your own scene. At the bottom, there are three main generation modes you can choose from. Ingredients to video, text to video, frames to video. Since we're turning images into videos, we're going to choose the frames to video option. This is designed specifically for converting one or multiple still images into a seamless video clip. If you'd like, you can also use this mode in combination with text prompts to influence how the final video behaves. Now let's move to the right-hand panel of the screen. Here you'll see a few important settings. One is the number of outputs per prompt, which controls how many different video variations you want VO to generate from your input. Below that, there's the model dropdown. Make sure VO3 with beta audio is selected. This version gives you both visual quality and optional audio generation for a more complete video experience. Uploading your images. Next, click on the plus icon to upload the image or images you want to convert into video. You can upload single frames 
or a series of images depending on your concept. For today's example, I'll be using another product image. This time, it's a close-up photo of a woman applying lipstick. Once the image is uploaded, I'll adjust it slightly before moving on. You can use the built-in cropping tool to resize or reposition your image to better fit the canvas. I'll go ahead and select Full Canvas, then drag to expand the crop to fill the space. Once I'm happy with the framing, I'll click on Crop and Save to finalize the image position. Once I've successfully uploaded the first image, I can now move forward with the editing and customization process. This step allows you to adjust how the image will be displayed in your video and prepare it for seamless transitions if you're using multiple frames. So here you can see the first image we've uploaded. But to create a more dynamic and visually engaging video, I've decided to include a second image as well. Having more than one frame allows us to simulate motion and build a stronger narrative within the video. I'll go ahead and upload a second image now. This one features a different model in a new pose. Once the image is uploaded, I'll again use the cropping tool to fit the full canvas. I'll make slight adjustments to ensure that the key elements, like the model's face and the product, are clearly visible. And then I'll click on Crop and Save. Selecting and arranging frames. Now that we have both images uploaded, you'll notice they appear as two separate frames in the editor. These frames represent the starting and ending visuals of your animation. For the first frame, I'll select the original image of the model for the second frame, I'll select the new image of the second model, holding a different product. What I want to achieve here is a smooth transition where the first model moves slightly, and then the camera zooms out to reveal the second model, both standing together as if they're on a movie set. This kind of creative transformation gives the impression of a real, continuous video shot. Even though we're only working with still images, choosing the right model and settings. Now that our frames are selected, we're going to proceed to the rendering section. Since we're using the frames to video option, we'll need to choose the AI model that will generate the video. From the available options, I'm going to select VO3, which is optimized for generating realistic animations from image frames. It also includes beta audio, meaning your video can come with background sounds that enhance the atmosphere. If you want to include audio, You'll also notice a credit counter at this point. The number of credits required will vary depending on the complexity of your video and the model you choose to use. After confirming the settings, all I have to do now is click on the Generate button, and the AI will begin processing the images and building the video. Final output. Within just a couple of minutes, the video generation is complete. And here's the result. The movement looks incredibly natural. You can see the model gently move the product, and then the scene zooms out to reveal the second model standing beside her. The whole sequence feels like it was filmed on a real set, and it's amazing to see this level of detail and realism coming from just two static images. All right, now that our video has been generated, let's take a closer look at the final result to see exactly how VO3 has transformed our static images into a moving, lifelike video. As you can see here, the video begins with our first model holding the product. Then, just as we specified, the camera smoothly zooms out and transitions into the second frame, revealing the second model standing next to her. The movement is fluid, natural, and incredibly realistic. This is a great example of how VO3 brings still images to life, making them feel like clips from a professional video shoot creating a new project with different movements. Now that we've seen how that turned out, let's move on and create a brand new project to try out a few different styles of movement and experiment with new images. From the home screen, I'll click on New Project once again. This time, we'll be focusing on a more subtle and controlled animation. I already have a collection of sample images and videos that I've generated earlier, but now I want to walk you through another example to show how VO handles light movement. For this new project, I'll go back into the Frames to Video section. I'm only going to be using one frame this time, just to demonstrate how powerful the model is with even a single image. I'll click on Upload and select the image I want to use. You can truly upload any kind of image you like – portraits, product shots, or creative artwork. For this example, I'm choosing a photo that shows a model from the neck down, 
wearing stylish clothing. This is intentional. I want to see how Vio interprets the prompt and generates her face as part of the animation. Once the image finishes uploading, it becomes the first frame in our project. Since I won't be adding a second frame, this project will rely completely on the AI's ability to simulate motion from a single input, choosing the AI model and adding a prompt. Now it's time to choose the rendering model. I'll select VO3 again for this, because it supports the highest quality video generation along with beta audio, if needed. You'll notice that for this particular prompt, the system will use 100 credits. That's because we're asking for a more advanced transformation and more detailed animation. Now let's enter a text prompt to guide the AI on what kind of movement we want to generate. In this case, I'll type something like, make the model gently move and pan the camera upward to reveal her face. Once the prompt is added, I'll click on Generate and let VO3 work its magic. Viewing the final video. After just a few minutes of processing, the video generation is complete, and now it's time to watch what VO has created. As the video plays, you can see the model begin to subtly move, and then the camera pans upward, revealing her face in stunning detail. What's absolutely incredible here is the realism. The lighting, skin texture, and clothing details all feel authentic, as if this were a professionally filmed scene. If you were to glance at this video, you'd never guess it was generated by an AI using a single image. I'm honestly amazed by the outcome. The result is so clean and natural that it's hard to believe this wasn't captured with a camera. Not only can you create a stunning, high-quality video from a single image like the one we just worked with, but with VO3, you can also expand your project far beyond that. If I want to continue building this storyline or add more elements to it, I can simply click on the Add to Scene button. By doing this, I can link my current video with a brand new scene. This allows me to build a multi-part cohesive video using a combination of image inputs, motion prompts, and even written descriptions. For this next part, instead of uploading another image, I'll switch over to the text to video feature. I'm going to type in a simple prompt like, the model starts walking slowly towards the camera in a softly lit studio environment. Once I input that and proceed, VIA will generate a new scene based entirely on this description. What's great is that now I can combine multiple clips, one after another, and turn them into a long-form AI-generated video something that used to require complex software or professional editors. Creating longer AI videos was once both difficult and expensive, especially if you were using traditional AI tools or hiring animators. But VO3 has made the process not only simpler, but far more cost-efficient. Let's talk about credit usage for a moment. Each video you generate uses a specific number of credits. For detailed and longer scenes, like the one we just created, it might use around 100 credits. But if you're working on a shorter segment or if hyper-realistic detail isn't crucial for a particular scene, you can select the fast render options, which use as few as 10 to 20 credits. This helps you stretch your credits further and build longer videos without spending too much. So if you're planning to tell a full story, scene by scene, moment by moment, VO3 offers an extremely efficient and creative way to bring your ideas to life without needing to master traditional editing tools. So that wraps it up for today. If you found this video helpful and learned something new, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like. It helps a lot and lets me know that this kind of content is useful to you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.